Hi, I'm Sproins. This is Borderlands 2. Welcome back. Today is the day that we are going to get the Unkempt Herald double penetrating. Uh, so, yeah, we have to farm savagely. I'm going to see if I can get there as quickly as possible. Let's see. All right. Again, we're going to go with this uh, combination. All right, he slagged. And I have a habit of not firing my uh, sniper enough, but see, the only way to reload is to reload both, because for some reason, I'm not sure why, it doesn't reload itself automatically. Maybe it's like a, a perk that I don't have set, that I used to have set that I'm not used to, but see, that time, that one reloaded, but the sniper rifle did not, so. I think there's some more Mongi bulls up here. That's the name I like to call them. Let's see if I can if I can kill one, keep my guns are going, okay. And these bully rots are usually troublesome. Oh, but I can't gun zerk at the moment. Alright, they're all still very alive. That was kind of foolish of me. I could probably get this guy. Get up, switch, gun zerk, there we go. Get some health back. There we go. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, I don't know where the map marker is, though. Or the waypoint. Grab that health. I guess I don't need it. There's some more health if I do end up needing it. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Is there... Is it over here? Yeah, it's right here. All right. Let's do this. And then I would really like to grab this without having to fight all these guys. If I can just run over here and grab it and then like jump off the cliff. Uh, it's not letting me take it yet. That's not good. Right, can I grab it? Uh, Alright, let me see if I can take this guy out. Alright, grab it. Alright, could screw all of fighting those guys for nothing. It's not like we're getting experience, and the chances of them dropping a legendary is kind of low, to say the least. Alright, install, install. And then from here, we do the Sanctuary mission. Now, I do believe you have to enter Sanctuary at least once before Savage Lee starts spawning. So we have to do that quest. Come on, come on, come on. Anytime. Too bad there's not a Taco Pimento. A... Talk into. Anyway. Nice. Away we go. Yeah, so. Not really a whole lot to say. I mean, this next part's pretty straightforward. Just gotta do the story quest, and hopefully, it doesn't take too long to get a, a double penetrating herald. So, if it was like a first playthrough or something, then I probably would just stop until I get like a few of them because it's not really worth it to try to farm, but since we are at max level, uh, I guess I will be trying to find uh, at least one of them, so. Let's just deal with him real quick. Alright. Here we go. I hope these guys don't destroy. Okay, they didn't. The Mongi Bulls might, though. Do I have to wait for... Yeah, let's, let's just chill and wait for the uh, marker to move. Because Mongi Bulls do... 
uh, ambush you over here as soon as you drop out, so. Alright, let's just drop, grab it, get back into the driver's seat, and head to the marrow fields, the same place that we go to farm savagely. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and take out these mongi bulls over here because uh, we can come back over here after we enter Sanctuary and these guys will have already been defeated. So that's uh, one free time that we can fight savagely without having to worry about these guys, even though we are killing them now. That was nice. And I think these guys are from... Uh, behind I didn't outrun them or whatever but it's okay we'll take them out too Let's see it's not reloading even if I try to shoot it so yeah I'm not sure but whatever so I'll run up here talk to this dude The only one that might give me trouble is this guy. Might. Looks like he's uh, just chilling there, letting me kill him, so that's okay. Alright, can't complain about that. I'll increase action skill cooldown rate. Might come in handy later, maybe. And we're just gonna run from these sky hunters. Hopefully, they don't kill me. just go down here and I'm pretty sure there's a quick way to do this too if I can get it fast enough another instance where I'll try to uh, try to shoot the guy and then off myself it's one of these dudes I think it's that one back there yep all right, now. I think there is the uh, the bonus ob objective. Uh, I think that's failable, but it's whatever. I don't think we get any like uniques or rare drops uh, for missing it. So now I turn this in, and I can enter sanctuary. So I'm just going to run in Sanctuary, then run out here, and we will start farming savagely. Alright, went to Sanctuary, dealt with all that, and now we're ready to farm savagely. So everybody's grandmother already knows how to do this, but I figure I would at least show the first run. Uh, so this first time we shouldn't have to worry about the Mongi Bulls, because I've already taken care of them. Uh, and of course there's always a chance that he can spawn in two locations. And I clicked the wrong button. So I'll try not to do that in the future to speed this up a little bit. Uh, and actually, instead of using the slag combo, I'm going to try to use the lady fist because the uh, plus 800 critical might do more than uh, the, st the slag damage. Although I'm not sure, but uh, that's something I want to try. So plus 800 crit. So I'll just try to get crits here. Um, I hope this works. Uh, but they're savagely. And the Mongi Bulls are not around. So, let's try to hit him. Uh, so, I don't know if that does anymore. Doesn't seem like it. Oh my gosh. Well, he dropped one. First try. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but it's not the double penetrating. We want the double penetrating prefix because that, that gives it like the split shot and it's just ridiculously insane. Um, but I think I am going to take this and use this to farm. This is probably going to help me out uh, with farming. So let's just do one more together and then after that I'll just cut it out uh, and then bring you back in when I have a DP. But I have to get the DP um, before I continue. And then once we do that... So you can see uh, the other place that'll spawn is over here. Again, your grandma can tell you about that, but um, if he's not there, then he's always over here. 
but he can be in both places. If he's over there, he'll also be here too, so again, ask your grandma. So let's get out, and uh, let's try... So this is this is pretty much close to what we're going to be having. Uh, next we need to get the Grog Nozzle. Uh, the Grog, mo uh, Grog Nozzle slags and also gives you regen, but yeah, that, that's what the... Uh, That's what the Herald does. If it's kind of not super accurate, um, but it's still an amazing gun. Jeez. All right. I might want to switch to a different gun for farming this guy. We'll see. And then the Mongi Bulls. It doesn't really matter. I don't really have to kill them. Uh, but he didn't drop anything this time, so that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Just repeat that process. Now there is a faster way to farm this guy using rocket jumps. Of course I don't have any good equipment for rocket jumping. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. So I'll be back when I have a DP. Hopefully it doesn't take very long. All right, just got the drop. Um, actually, that didn't take too long. It was probably around 30 tries or so. Uh, but yeah, we now have a double penetrating unkempt Herald. Uh, so the damage is actually, it could be a little bit higher than max. I have like a page over here with uh, the maximum stats that it could have. Uh, so we're about, looks like 20,000 less than the max damage and uh, Accuracy looks like it's about as high as it can go. So is the fire rate, reload speed, everything else is pretty decent. The magazine size could be a little bit higher. Uh, but yeah, so now we have this. And I don't know if I should hold on to this uh, regular. I'm probably not going to use it at all. Uh, you can see that it does do, if we compare the two, uh, yeah, this does more damage because it does the times two. That's why we wanted the uh, DP for the times two. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. It does consume six ammo per shot, but that's no big deal. And yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. So now we have double penetrating unkempt Herald. So really the next thing that we want to do is, and I, I don't really like uh, going out of order. What I wanted to do was kind of go through the main storyline first before we do DLC. But this thing really shines when it's paired with the Grog Nozzle. And of course, Grog Nozzle, we got to go through a little bit of Tiny Tina's DLC. So that's actually the next place that we're going to go. 
But once we do that, we're going to go ahead and jump right back in here and then start doing some more quests. I think, like, short-term goal, I pretty much want to get to uh, a point where I can farm legendaries. Uh, so, loot midget farming or something similar to that, I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, because without rocket jumping, it's a little bit uh, time-consuming to do it in the wildlife preservation. I guess I could just save and quit. It'd be a little bit faster. Uh, without rocket jumping and I don't I guess I could I'm not sure if it's possible to farm King Mong um, before that point it might be but uh, yeah we'll, we'll have to see anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get to the Tiny Tina DLC